I'm trained as a painter in very uh, conservative school called Ecole de Beaux Arts Hanoi, founded by the Impressionism painter from Paris in 1925. The school actually isolated because war all the time and um, no interactive with outside. That's why Gang of Fire. Gang of Fire is a group of painters started in 1983. We are very uh, hungry to do something new during dark time. Vietnam still closed the door and no support, no market. Everything ordered by government. Everything should be romantic or propaganda. <laughs> The rest is uh, all, all kind of, you know, illegal. So we, we really had that kind of thing. And our small group watching what happened in Vietnam, we cannot so work in public place. We show in our own studio and no audience. We hanging work every month. We drink wine and peanut. We talk about art. So uh, 1990 is kind of a uh, gap uh, turn from the closed door to open door. We, Gang of Fire, have a first public group show in small gallery. So we uh, surprised that not just only something new in our own community, also in a writer, literature, and um, filmmaker. They also excited from 1990 to 1995. The market growing fast because Vietnam open door just like a fashionable for people come to see post-communist country. So after five years, it's appeared that the work turned to kind of commercial, touristic. But radical work is no way because still banned. Yeah. I, I saw that contemporary art form is really convenient for us to escape from sneaky to the censorship uh, uh, barrier because you do happening performance. So I turned to doing performance and uh, video and uh, not yet video because we need equipment, we're still very poor, but performance, installation and, and other art form. After that, I, I turned a lot because that moment I have uh, enough years to travel around the world and to see developed country also. Lately, I travel to our neighborhood and somewhere even harder life in the third world country. So it helped me a lot to no more spend time for only my own art. So I became curator right after that. So I'm founder of Nyasan Wooden House where Tân also member from 1998. We make a lot of crazy thing and we got a lot of uh, ban from government. And I feel that I turn to be activist more than artist. <laughs> I don't care about my artwork much. And uh, in the identity of contemporary art and theoretically talk about the body of the art and the people who are doing art, I think the duration and the processing of art is more important than the production.